Remember that meeting between the president and congressional Republicans postponed because the Republican leadership couldn't seem to clear their schedules, even though the House and Senate were not in session? Well, the meeting is finally happening tomorrow morning. Earlier today, the president laid out his agenda. My hope is that tomorrow's meeting will mark a first step towards a new and productive working relationship. Our two most fundamental challenges are keeping the American people safe and growing our economy. And it's in that spirit that I look forward to sitting down tomorrow and talking about urgent matters like the ratification of the New START Treaty, which is so essential to our safety and security, and the status of the Bush-era tax cuts that are set to expire at the end of this year. The president then took his first step towards a new and productive working relationship with Republican lawmakers by calling for a spending measure that Eric Cantor would later point out was originally proposed last May by House Republicans. Today I'm proposing a two-year pay freeze for all civilian federal workers. This would save $2 billion over the rest of this fiscal year and $28 billion in cumulative savings over the next five years. A new group hopes to encourage more of this kind of bipartisan compromise. They are called No Labels. Their motto, not left, not right, forward. Joining me now, Republican advisor for No Labels and former advisor for the Bush and McCain campaigns and himself, a former Democrat, Mark McKinnon. Mark, thank you for joining us tonight. You have always defied labels, and now you're taking it all the way into No Labels. But... Mark, with Sarah Palin issuing simple-minded tweets about something non-political like the WikiLeaks, uh, with this uh, maneuvering we're seeing on the START Treaty, normally something that would not be contentious or difficult uh, with Republicans, isn't this the most difficult time you could possibly enter this fray and try to get some calm uh, bipartisanship in Washington? And that may be true, Lawrence, but it's also the reason why we need to. It's just, it's astonishing when I look at what's happening in Washington, but it's amazing when you get outside of Washington and you talk to real Americans, the fact that it's a big story that the president's meeting with members of the opposition party is shocking to regular Americans. This, this, this shouldn't be news, and, and, but I'm glad that it's happening. It's a good start. This is precisely what we hear millions of Americans telling us that Washington needs to be doing more of. It's become so polarized and so hyperpartisan. You've seen it over the evolution of your career. It's just not the same as it was 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. And the problem is we have more cha some of the greatest challenges we've ever faced, both domestically on the economy and our national security. And at a time when we have these great challenges, we have a hyperpartisan, polarized political process that rewards bad behavior. Uh, so that's what No Labels is about. We've got a thousand people, uh, citizens coming from across the United States, who are going to come to the official launch in New York City on December 13th. And, and the energy out there is really remarkable because what they're saying is we want a voice. We want to engage. We're not going to sit back any longer. So the, uh, the, the Tea Party was a, the glittering object for the, for the press and everybody in, in, in the uh, primaries in this election. It was a very real story. They captured a lot of the energy out there. But just, just, it's just the tip of the iceberg. I think the big story is that the vast middle of America has not been represented and their voice is about to be heard. Mark, it seems uh, Mitch McConnell is out of play in terms of what you're trying to do. He has said his political uh, motive now is to get Barack Obama out of office. But there must be some Democrats and some Republicans in the Senate and possibly in the House of Representatives who you have in mind as being open to your approach. Who do you think they are? Well, I, I think that there are a lot of people, Lawrence, and we, some of them will be in New York. But uh, what worries me is when you see people like Evan by leaving the Senate because it's so polarized. The problem with the system today is that it's not attracting good people to come in, and good people are leaving because they feel like they can't work across the aisle, they can't work in a bipartisan fashion, because when they are, they're, they're punished for it. So what we're trying to do is impose a voice into the system, a process into the system where people from America can come out and be... Uh, a, a system where we can reward and monitor the behavior. We're going to have people in every congressional district monitoring the behavior of their senators and congressmen so that we can look at things like how often do they meet with the other party? How often do they sign on bipartisan legislation? You know, it, it, it's amazing that people literally don't even meet together anymore, Lawrence. They come to Washington, meet with their own party. It's shirts and skins, zero-sum game. It's a, it's a system we've got to change, and people are anxious to do it. Mark McKinnon of the new centrist political group, No Labels. Thanks for joining us tonight, Mark. Thanks, Lawrence. We're going to keep kicking it. Okay.